You can walk from it, you can run from it, but it looks like AI isn't going anywhere. There is AI everywhere and it can be overwhelming. If you're new, you're still skeptical, or you're not using AI enough right now, here are three easy ways I like to use AI every day that saves me a lot of time. And this is all non-controversial stuff. There's no copyright infringement. We are not taking any jobs. It just saves us time. Let's say you have a long article, newsletter post, or a research article to read, but you don't really feel like reading. You know, like you've been staring at your screen all day. You just don't want to spend any more time reading on the digital paper, or you're just not a big fan of reading. As an example, I have this MKT1 newsletter, which is like really long and dense. It's like very heavy, super dense, and reading this takes time. What we're gonna do is like copy all the content. We're gonna go to this tool called Notebook LM by Google. We can like copy paste the content, we can upload files, or we can connect Google Drive and literally pull files directly from our Google Drive folders. And now we're gonna click on Notebook Guide. You're gonna see in the top right option called Audio Overview, and then just click Generate. It's gonna take a few minutes, depending on how long you know, like your text or your PDF was. But now it's gonna take all the content from the newsletter and turn it into a podcast discussion between two hosts. That sounds very natural. Take a listen. Okay, so someone stumbles upon your amazing blog post. Clearly, they're interested. Right, and then, bam, you invite them to a webinar going even deeper. So instead of being stuck in your chair and reading at the screen all day, we can just go on a walk or a hike, plug in the earphones, and consume the same content in a podcast form and get our steps in. So this tool by Google got released a few weeks ago, and everyone has been loving it for productivity. All right, moving on. Again, you know, there's another PDF that you didn't get a chance to read and a meeting is coming up real quick. You kind of want to figure out what's going on here. Or maybe there's a document that you want to always refer back to as like a quick reference because you just want to figure out what's going on and you always have to spend time going through and finding that information in the document or the PDF. So we're going to use this tool called Map This. And what we're gonna do here is like, either you can just copy paste the content from the PDF, or we can just upload the PDF and then pick one of these options, like a mind map or a flowchart. I like using flowchart. So pick flowchart. And now we have the whole PDF turned into a flowchart with pretty much all the content automatically. Of course it's AI, so just verify any factual information, but it pretty much summarizes any document as like a visual flowchart. So we can use it as a reference or we can just use it for like quick visual summary of that document. Speaking of learning and saving time, the next app I like using is called Cider. It's a Chrome extension. You like spending a lot of time learning on YouTube. You know, if you're watching this video so far, clearly that's true. And sometimes you don't have time to go through the video or you have like certain questions about it and stuff like that. Or you just wanna like go through certain videos quickly. So with the cider, first it's going to summarize the video so you can kind of like get a quick glance on what's going on in this video. And then if you click on this chat button, you can then start asking questions to this. It's like chat GPT, but the brains of chat GPT is now this YouTube video. So you can ask any questions about like what's going on in this video, you know, what are the key takeaways, who is it for, is it useful for me, like I do this, like will this help me here? I mean, again, there's just an example based on the video that I had open. Basically, based on what topic you're learning on, you can ask any clarifying questions you might have based on the topic and it's going to answer it right away. So again, it saves you a lot more time when you're trying to learn something or you're watching YouTube or you're trying to figure out if this video is what you're looking for or not. There we have it. Three simple ways you can start using AI to save us time. We can use AI to take any content and turn it into a podcast. We can use AI to turn any content into a flowchart. And we can just chat with YouTube and summarize YouTube videos real quick. If the video is useful, give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment on what things you want AI to do for you so we can, you know, share the best tools or workflows for it and subscribe to the channel for more AI tools and workflows to help you become more productive. We'll see you in the next videos.